Welcome back to Intimals, everyone. Welcome to the Night Countdown and Super Bowl Sunday. I hope you guys enjoy the game today. It's going to be a really good game, honestly. I'm going for Joe Burrow. I do want him to beat Stafford. I think he's going to be the best in the game eventually. I'm just kidding. I don't know if he's going to be the best in the game, but I hope he does, you know, continue to be the best. Losing Tom Brady, I hope that Joe Burrow does step up. Um, but I'm going to go over the S&P 500 with you guys. I'm going to go over exactly what kind of momentum we do at this point in time. Again, we did continue on down. We did drop down below our 443 level. Are we going to continue on down? And if we do continue on down, what exactly are we looking to see if we can bounce off of? And if we do bounce leading into Fed Minutes on Friday, how exactly do I plan on playing to this? I did go over this on Friday, but I'm going to go over a couple other things with you guys. And all I ask in return, follow this as you smash that like button. And I do welcome you to the Instables room in the description below. I mentioned pre-market news before market open every single day. Most breakouts have been pre-market news in the open. Any halts worth looking at throughout the day or any major breakout alerts worth looking at throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So let's get into this one. So I'm going to go over the SP 500 with you guys here on the daily chart. I did go over the four hour chart with you guys on Friday, but I want to go over the daily chart with you guys so you guys can see the exact same perspective here. And also I'm going to go over a couple other things here with you guys. Now, before I get started again, I do welcome you to the Instables room in the description below. We mentioned pre-market news before market open every single day. Most breakouts have been pre-market news in the open. I know the market has been very choppy, but we do have breakouts almost every single day. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So as you guys can see here on the daily chart with the SPY, as you guys can see, we were looking to see if we can respect this 20 minute average. We did jump back over it and we were looking to see if we can respect it. And as you guys can see, we do have a large momentum candle to the downside. No surprise if we do continue on down into tomorrow, but if we do have a bounce here, there will be no surprise as well. And the reason why here is because as you guys can see, we do have our Fibonacci lines here from the bottom to the top here, and we would be measuring our 0.5 level. That is a very strong level that a lot of stocks do bounce off of. So no surprise if we do bounce. Now, again, we do have an emergency Fed meeting that is tomorrow. And if we do hear anything of it, then we could possibly continue on down if it is negative. But if we do not hear anything of it, then we could possibly continue on up and have a bounce here. And if we do bounce here, there is no surprise going into Monday. But again, if we do continue on down, there is no surprise if we do bounce from that continuation on down because we do have a lot of support here. So again, we will be looking to see if we can, in my opinion, get a bounce leading into Fed Minutes. And again, with a negative outlook on Fed Minutes, if you are going to be playing short to the downside, then I would be looking for that bearish momentum. Either get rejected here at about 447.50, which again, we did mention on Thursday that if we did drop down below 447.50, then we could continue on down and we drop down below all the way to 440. Now looking to see if we can hold these levels here at about 435. And if we did drop down below 435, then we'll be looking to see if we can hold 442, which in my opinion is a very weak resistance from this consolidation and continuation down and possible double top within intraday or again, possible bear flag here that we do have on a possible extension. Uh, we did mention this on uh, Friday, as you guys can see, we do have a possible extension and to grab that extension and look for that price target, we will be grabbing the same thing here, looking for that 415 level that we did mention. And again, we are not only playing into this extension, as you guys can see previously, we have a lot of consolidation within this point that we had here at 415. Again, as you guys can see, we did have a bounce and we did continue on up here. So again, no surprise if we do again, get a bounce here at 415, if we do continue on down on this extension from this bear flag. And from here, I definitely will not just be buying into this because we hit 415. I will be looking for that bullish momentum, either intraday or looking for that swing trade within more consolidation for better breakouts here again we are looking for that large emotional reaction within all of these breaks and that is what I want to make sure we do continue to focus on here on the channel again, I will be going over exactly how I plan on playing into these options every single day. Like I said, I do want to see one of two things happen here and I'll go back to the five minutes. So you guys can see more clearly of what we're looking for here. So you guys can see again, we do have our continuation down, but we do have our possible gap filler that we have all the way back here from this continuation up. So again, we could possibly gap down to this previous breakout point that we had, or we do get that consolidation within this previous rejection to the upside that we had, which we are testing at this point in time. If we do have a bounce again to about 447.50 that we mentioned as our break point to our continuation on down, then there is no surprise that we do have some consolidation below 447.50. And we will again consider this consolidation at the end of the day on Friday to see if we do continue on down below that. We could have a possible gap down from there leading into five minutes if we do have a bounce. But again, if we do start off out the gate and we do get that gap down, we will be looking to see if we can get a bounce and get that bearish momentum play to possibly sell off into Fed minutes. We will be looking at what levels we have at the point in time. And again, I will be alerting every single day, Monday through Friday on exactly what we're looking for here on the SPY to have a possible continuation and up or a possible continuation down and exactly how I plan on planning to this. Now, again, if you happen to be interested in intraday perspective breakouts, we mentioned pre-market news before market open every single day. Most breakouts have been pre-market news and open. Any halts worth looking at throughout the day or any major breakout alerts worth looking at throughout the day, 
go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss breakout like today again. And all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel, all of you instables that have been coming over from the room and supporting the channel, I appreciate everyone of you guys. Much love to everyone of you guys. God bless everyone of you guys. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help with your finance and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in pre-market.